Hi there you guys! Easter is coming, that is why I'm coming with an Easter tutorial for a cross. It is done with delicate beads and with the brick stitch I'm showing really easy and step by step and I'm providing you with a free pattern. So this is a beginner's friendly tutorial. If you haven't worked with brick stitch I'm explaining it from the beginning. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell. Check description for useful resources and link to the membership option. Thank you so much for watching now. Without further ado, I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 110 Mayuki Delica beads and they are yellow, blue and black. I'm also using here a bale because I'm making a pendant, you know. This is size D Naimo nylon thread which is 0.3 millimeters and by the way you could check description for full list of materials links to my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which now besides the other perks is a course of five peyote stitch videos you could see more in the link in description now let's continue this is size 10 beading needle and this is a free pattern that i provide for especially for this video and you will be seeing it during the tutorial i will work with it okay these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers to attach my bail to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work with this pattern. If you're not familiar working with patterns and with brick stitch, don't worry because I'm showing it beginners friendly and you will be able to make it. See, I'm starting with this row where I have four yellow beads and first I'm going to take two of them okay I have two and I'm going to slide those down like this then as I'm exiting through one of them I'm going through the other one okay then I will go through the next one as well okay now you see what I have. I have these two holes pointing in this direction and my beads are next to each other. The sides of my beads are next to each other. Okay, I take another one and go like this. You see now I have three beads with, po with holes pointing in this direction. Okay, and I take another one. And I go like this. Now I have my first row ready. Now I want to reinforce this row. Okay. And now I have this row nice and tight. Then in my next row I have five beads. One yellow, three black beads and one yellow. I always start with the first two which are yellow and black okay I start with the first two okay and you see these little thread bridges between my beads okay I'm gonna be using the first one going through it like this and then I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work Then, according to my work, to my pattern, I need two more black beads. I take one and I go under the next thread bridge. And I go back again through the same bead. From now on, I'm adding the beads one by one. Take a black one and I go under the next thread bridge. You see what I do? And then I go back through this black one again. 
Okay, and I need one yellow according to my pattern. You see, one yellow, three blacks, one yellow, and I need to add this yellow. I'm out of thread bridges, as you may see, but I'm going to use the last thread bridge that I've been through with the third black bead one more time. And then I go back through the yellow. Okay. What I did here is a brick stitch, expanding brick stitch or increasing brick stitch because here I have five beads and here I have four. So this one here is with one bit more and it is increasing brick stitch. Okay. Then again, I have increasing brick stitch. This time I need to add yellow, black, two blue beads, black and a yellow. Now I want a yellow and a black. Again, I start with these two beads. And what I want to do is because I increase, I want to go through the first thread bridge here. Between the yellow and the black one. And then again, I go through the black. Then according to my pattern here, I need two blue beads and I'm going to be adding them one by one at each thread bridge. And according to my pattern, I need black and yellow. And here the yellow one I added at the last thread bridge that I already used for the black one. Okay, now I will flip because it's easier for me. And I'm starting my next row, which is again increasing because here I have more beads, more beads compared to the previous row. Okay, yellow, black, blue, black, blue, black, yellow. Okay, I start always with two beads, yellow and black. Go under the first thread bridge because I increase. When I increase, I always go under the first thread bridge. Then a blue one, a black one, a blue one. And then a black and a yellow. And here from this side, I'm adding the yellow at the last thread bridge that I already been through with the black one. Okay, now I have this. I prefer to flip. And the next row, guys, is this one, which is the same as this one here. And it is decreasing row, which means it is with less beads than in this row. And now I'm going to show you a decreasing. So I take a yellow and a black, but now because I decrease, I will go under the second thread bridge here. You see here I have a thread bridge between the yellow and the black, but I'm not going through it. I'm going through the second one, which is between the black and the blue. And then again, I do absolutely the same thing going through the bead that is closer to the center of my work, which is the black one. And then what I want to do is to reinforce my work. Okay. Because these beads stretch and don't stay okay if you don't go one more time through them. That is why I'm going one more time through them. And according to my pattern here, I need to add one by one two blue beads. And then a black and a blue.
and then a yellow and here I have enough thread bridges so at the last step I add only one bead because it is a decreasing row okay this one here and now I have another decreasing row which consists of yellow black two black and yellow I flip yellow and black second thread bridge because I decrease go here through this black one and then go through the yellow and through the black again because here the beads stretch as they go through the second thread bridge I need to reinforce them to make them stay nice and tight then two more black beads and one yellow okay I think you got the idea of the decreasing and increasing rows now I'm going to show you two rows and will let, let you work the similar rows up to the part that expands by yourself. Okay, now here I am at this row and now I have another decreasing and another increasing row. And after that these rows repeat. Okay, now I decrease with a yellow and a black. I go under the second thread bridge here again, reinforce, and then a black. and a yellow one okay now I flip take my pattern I just did this row and now I have increasing row with a blue in the center when the row is increasing as you remember I always go through the first thread bridge like I did here and I don't reinforce after that because they don't stretch now I need a blue one a black one and a yellow one okay guys and after I did this row here and this row I will repeat this several more times uh, decreasing increasing decreasing increasing decreasing increasing and it is absolutely the same thing I will do this row with the fourth blue bead in the center up to here and I'll be back to tell you how to make this part and this part okay pause here and do this and see you in a while okay guys and here i am at my pattern at this fourth blue bead here and i was doing absolutely the same thing that i showed you decreasing increasing decreasing increasing and uh, if you rewind the video and repeat these two steps one two three times you will be up to here okay and now i'm going to show you how i do this part this part for this part I need two yellows two blacks and one yellow so I will start with a yellow I add it like this then I go through the yellow that I just added one more yellow
Okay, I'm adding them like I showed you here in the beginning. Then black, black. And according to my pattern here at the last step, I have yellow. Okay, you see I have this one here. Now what I want to do is reinforce it, go from this side and repeat the same steps. Okay, I'm from this side and it's easier for me to flip. Now I will add two yellows and two blacks and one yellow. Okay, I'm showing you the first step only. Continue with yellow, black, black, yellow. Okay, and now guys, I'm here and what I want to do is turn my work in this direction and you see, I will turn also my pattern and here I'm going to add these three beads. I'm starting from this bead here, so I decrease and I need two yellows at first and then one more yellow. Okay, and as I'm here, I'm going under the second thread bridge with the two beads that I have. I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work. And I reinforce this one more time because you know this is an increasing row compared to the previous one that you could also see from your pattern. You see how it goes to this side and then I need another yellow and I go in the next thread bridge. And then go here. Okay, I have this edge here ready and I want to go back to my main work. I want to go through this yellow here, flip my work. Okay, I will take my pattern again. Okay, what I did are this row of three beads and then I have this whole row until the end. So I need to make the next row which consists of yellow and black and is an increasing row. You see this one is sticking out here. So I take a yellow and a black and I go and I go under the first thread bridge here because it is an increasing row. and go through the one that is closer to the center of my work. Okay, then I will take my pattern and now I need a blue, 10 black beads, a blue, one black and one yellow. So I'm going to add all of those. You could pause on the pattern and do them and I'll meet you here at this side. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row. Now what I want to do is the same thing that I did from the other side. I want to go here and add these three yellow beads and it is absolutely the same thing. Take two yellows, go under the second thread bridge, go through this one which is closer to the center of your work, then reinforce your beads. then take another yellow, then go here under the next thread bridge, 
and after that my goal is to zigzag through my beads and go again where I started this whole thing from which is here at this yellow okay okay guys and if you have done this up to here I'm sure you will be able to do this largest row the longest row in your work then decrease decrease and repeat this part and continue and I will be coming back from time to time to show you my progress until the end now I will show you how I'm starting this row just the first two beads and this one yellow black blue and I will continue this until the end and I'll be back to show you my work okay guys and when I continued beading and following my pattern here is where I am okay you see now I finished this row which is the longest row with the more beads and now I'm going to start this one with yellow black and blue and it is a decreasing one okay guys and as I continued beading I did my next two rows okay here I did this row and now I'm up to this part and here I will make these three beads and then reposition my thread go here and continue I'm going to show you how I'm doing this two yellows and I'm decreasing go under the second thread bridge and reinforce another yellow go in the next thread bridge and back through the yellow and now what I want to do is reposition my thread and I want to go back to this part to add the three beads from this side okay I will zigzag through all of my beads here and when I'm up to here I'll be back okay guys and as I was zigzagging one by one through these beads I'm here exiting out of this black bead and what I want to do next is go through these two is go through this blue bead like this and then diagonally go through the black and through the yellow because I want to reposition my thread to exit here out of the yellow and I'm going to add these three beads the same way okay and as I'm exiting here what I need to do next guys is to add yellow black black yellow and I decrease and from here on guys I'm going to repeat what I did in the beginning an increasing row with the blue in the center then a decreasing one and then I will make this whole element which is absolutely the same like this one I will do this and I'll be back okay guys and as I continued following my pattern here I am where I'm adding my last row I hope you did it up to here if not pause and follow this pattern and do this okay now what I want to do is to make a loop for my bail and I go here through the yellow and diagonally through the black one and then through the black one and through the yellow then I take five black beads and I go in the neighbor yellow one
then I'm going to reinforce this joint where I will attach my bail. Now I'll put my bail and my chain and I'll be back. Okay guys and now my Easter tutorial for beaded cross out of Delica beads is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. In this way, you will know when I make new tutorials that are coming up. Check description for useful resources and a link to the membership. Also click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching tutorials. Bye bye from me.